My name's Ron Zweig, and uh, I live in Woods Hole, which is in Falmouth on Cape Cod. I started with an interest in painting actually quite young, as most kids do, taking some painting lessons, and which led to this moment, really. My art or work is basically in watercolor painting. It's a little different from most watercolor painting in that it's quite um, precise. I use kind of the liquid watercolors that are, you find in tubes. And the paintings are, are very colorful, most of them. And most of them are kind of organic and they kind of flow and they're different forms and shapes. And they kind of organically develop. Oftentimes, almost every time, when I start a painting, I don't know where, what it's gonna look like. And then within those, I begin to work with one shape, as I say, and then that develops and moves, kind of sort of develops into others. And, and then it, it kind of weaves back on itself. And then some are geometric. And uh, those are kind of like, I need to take a break in my painting when I do those, in that more intricate, interwoven paintings um, take a lot of mental uh, stamina and exercise to, to work it through. And I first come up with the, in essence, a sketch of what I'm doing, and then I begin to apply color. And the color then uh, works in conjunction with other colors, just like the drawings or the shapes that evolve, the color evolves as well. And so the, the paintings have become, there's one that has a slightly, well, a few that have different palettes. I have a couple of acrylic pieces here in the show. One's a self-portrait from 50 years ago, but it's not really, it's very, uh, they, not realistically painted in terms of color. But um, then another one that's more geometric and it's, uh, it looks like it's almost shimmering. It's very re reflective in, in the feeling it gives. How did all this happen? How did I get here? As I say, I started painting, it, I think around 72, when I was sort of uh, transitioning from academia into actually probably more academia. When I was working, it was very intense work in the field, immediate, lots of meetings, lots of field visits, a lot of questions, quite of, uh, seeking a lot of answers. And it was to a point where you kind of get exhausted. And so as far as the, the, my use of art at that time was to go to galleries or museums and then just sort of, it would relax my mind to be able to go and look at images, absorb them and think about them. So there has always been an art dimension. I grew up in Indiana, uh, in Gary of all places, uh, which is near Chicago. So I remember spending a good part of my youth, at least with many visits to the Art Institute of Chicago. And so I have what I feel are friends in that museum in that there are paintings there that I remember and that I, whenever I visit Chicago, I go to visit my friends, which are this, it's sort of in the impressionist part of the, of the gallery. It's, it's always been within me. My, when I was in, in college, I kind of started out in the arts before I went into science and I was working in sculpture and I, kind of explored that for a while. But then the, the interest in the science and the intricacies of, of uh, cell systems, as well as ecosystems, uh, marine biology, cell biology. I always had imagery in my academic life and had a, an appreciation of the, of the aesthetic, especially in imagery. And that has, I think, is somewhat reflected in what I'm doing now, but w with the painting. And so a lot of it just flows. If I try to do something different or special, I kind of get stuck. So I kind of have to go with, with the flow of things, although sometimes some of the paintings came from a geometric disciplined approach. So really that's the, the crux of it. Come and have a peek if you're interested. Thank you.